at the time I was growing out my hair. So I had my big Afro and I was just like, oh my gosh, I was just feeling myself. And I was like, I, this is, this is like this euphoric feeling that like everyone should have, you know, like being confident in your skin and in yourself. And it all happened because I finally understood Spanish. Like who knew, you know? Because of that experience, you know, I was like, okay, towards my Yagami, I'm like, okay, I like working with kids. Okay. Like solid, it's not like a maybe, like, you know, it's like, okay, I'm in a different country and I'm working with children. That's the most evidence I can get. And so I went on Google and I looked up things to do with children and therapy. And then I found basically what I'm doing now and I'm studying, which is applied behavioral analysis. it was truly our retreats that I mostly had like a, a true godly moment because we were we were together and it was small group and we meditated together and it was that in that intimacy and I think I was just feeling a bunch of love going to the different country I've never done anything like that so I was super shy in the beginning I was super shy because everyone would stare at me um, because I was like different, even though they had a community of Afro-Uruguayans, like they would still, you know, stare, which affected me because I was like, dang, do I have something on my face? I'm like, is it me? Like, what's going on? But no, they were just curious. Uh, and I had to get used to that. And then I think it was the moment when I finally understood Spanish it was when I was like, I really don't care. Um, I'm going to be rocking out with my Afro. I am a black woman. It's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious that I am an, an unapologetic black woman. I speak my mind and I'm, I don't really, I really don't care. And that experience came from Yagum. 